Greetings to whoever watching this video. This is my first video, so I am going to introduce myself, this channel, and the future content that I am going to post. So let's begin. Hi, my name is Manju Singh. I am 23 year old Indian. I work as a Unity level designer. But in my free time, I also do some developing in Godot. Uh, basically Godot is my preferred engine because GDScript is the first language that I have learned and practiced and I am somewhat now a beginner intermediate. I am not a native English speaker so you are gonna hear some grammatical mistakes and basically this accent. I have built two games in Android and I have published them in Play Store. Uh, one is in beta and one is fully published but still it it can develop more it can have more features but i just wanted to learn things in godot so i have posted i have made those games and i'm gonna post whatever i have learned in godot while making these games and the features that i have used while making these games and plus whatever i'm gonna learn so I will show my game that I have built in Godot. This one is called Lightskipper. This is the second game that I have made. Uh, I have used various stuff in this uh, like firewalls. Uh, basically you can register and log in and save your game online. And even you can skip those process. Uh, you can play directly but you won't be able to save online. Uh, rather offline uh, but you will lose your progress if you uninstall your game and later for this later stall it so basically uh, it's a 2d game uh, that's why i skipped the gles3 version uh, which is uh, performance taxing uh, you can see various stages that i have made I even use tool in script uh, so that you can have feedbacks in editor this one just using this will help you to get a response get the animation or anything uh, in viewport so this is the first game it's actually still in beta uh, but you can see what's what is all about uh, as you can see the assets are not mine i use various assets from itch.io and some from craftix when i had the license it even throw projectiles like this which attract to the monsters and get transferred there are more levels to come but currently i am not working on this project i am not working on any project because i am facing some difficulties with some other things that i don't want to discuss so yeah you can even shop will increase damage uh, but you have to collect more coins you will get more coins option in the game 
Uh, this is all about. Uh, yeah, yeah. In this, uh, I use Google Gameplay Service and AdMob. I have I've even used AdMob in last project in actually in Lightskipper. I even do some 3D stuff. So these are all the work that I've done in 3D. So my idea is, you know, my doing game of games. And so I have some knowledge of PBR, texturing, and modeling, basically in hard surface uh, like this. Uh, I will show this one. This is, this one is cool. <laughs> uh, Here. I'll share how I did these stuffs and I will probably share how to make a uh, game ready model and with texturing in the future videos so be ready for it uh, so in the scene i have made some low poly stuff uh, this is in half resolution that's why it's looking all crappy uh, so basically it's all post processing and light that i've used I use four directional light to lit the scene. It's taxing, but it will give you a good result. I've used glow, customize the glow to get this type of effect. Basically, simple click on and off. But it's so easy in this kind of things. It really makes uh, some good art. Let me play it. Background is still a work in progress. I will. Probably make a better looking background like this one. Uh, this script is not mine. I've used some free templates from GitHub. FPS one, the shadow, the probably some crunchy stuff. I will put some trees, maybe low poly, more low poly stuff, so that it will look good. Finally, it looked like this. So I will tell you how I did this. Uh, this is my hierarchy. Nothing more, nothing less. Probably I will turn off the half I have used simple material with just albedo and glow that color change. Only this. So that it can look like this. I haven't used many Omnilight. I have used Omnilight, but not in uh, the hanging, in the hanging one. In the world environment tab, I've used background in keep mode. It gives uh, really. It gives the reflective light according to scene. Uh, it really just bring the environment as realistic as possible. Ambient color is black. Black. I haven't used. I haven't changed it. It's little grayish. It's just little grayish. Uh huh. The main ex the main thing that I've used to bring the look is fog. Uh, you can see how much it changes the entire scene basically color is this and color is this and you can see the rest of the settings okay another thing is glow the level selected as 4, 5 and 7 Another thing is glow, which is the main thing. I have used blended mode as adaptive. The soft light 
won't give the results that I required. Adaptive is the one, creative is the one. Bear with my accent. And the adjustment to finalize the contrast and the brightness of the screen. It just get overall sharpness to the image. This is just collision static one click thing. And I don't even use the one click thing in here, but later I changed it to box collision. You can see this is automatic generated collision shape. Uh, which I uh, let me show you how I did one click stuff just click in play in match create, try my static body it will create this stuff but I don't think it will work as required basically I want to move as smooth as possible in this up and down plane just to showcase my stuff that's why I use clearing shift box shape. And that is all.